everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint different types of eucalyptus leaves. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor and Newton cotton watercolors, my Princeton snap brush in a size 6 today, and my water and paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you how to paint different types of eucalyptus leaves. Um, I find they are really beautiful fillers for bouquets and like floral paintings. So, and there are a bunch of different types, but we're going to do just a few today. So, the first one we're going to do is called a willow eucalyptus. And the colors that I mix usually to make eucalyptus leaves are hooker's green dark and dioxazine purple which makes a really nice grayish kind of sagey green, which I love. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to create a nice thin, slightly curved line just by using light pressure, okay? And then these leaves are thinner and longer than usual like leaves that we do. So what you're gonna do to achieve this is you're gonna use your light pressure to get that thin line, heavy pressure, drag it out for longer, and then light pressure and flick it. Have it curve to a side, okay? So again, light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, flick, okay? And you can have these leaves going in different directions. I'm just gonna bring this down a bit. Light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, flick. Going this way. Just like that. And you can have them crisscross each other, overlap, whatever you want. And sometimes when you lift it off and you flick it, you might get these kind of... Um, they're not really sharp lines, so you can just go over them if you need to. Especially if you have like arches paper and it's a bit more toothy. When you lift your paintbrush off, it can leave kind of that toothy texture. And I apologize if I start sniffling in this video. <laughs> My allergies are back, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. I know I'm going to get comments about that again, so I apologize. I will try and keep in mind to not sniffle as much. I do blow my nose. I do, but there's only so many times you can blow your nose, especially when you have a paintbrush in your hand. Okay, and that's just the basis of this, um, this leaf. And it's really beautiful. I love using it a lot in my work. And you can make it darker, lighter, whatever. But that's basically it. Okay, and now the next one we're going to be doing is called the True Blue um, Eucalyptus. So again, I'm just going to mix some more color. <clears throat> I might actually add a bit of blue in this. Just a tad, just to make it more on the blue-green side. And you're going to, again, create a nice curved thin line and these ones are a bit more rounded so you're just going to use the belly of your brush to create C curves from one side to the other you can fill it in like that and this one they usually have like two like one leaf one leaf one leaf one leaf and they're kind of um, flattened so they are this shape but you get most of the view from the side so you're just going to do a really thin view of it and you can change up the view and the size because they might be pointing different ways so you can do thicker ones you can do really thin like side views okay And it's just basically this, just change it up. It's 
like that. And then you can go back in with some darker paint towards where they meet the stem. Just add in a bit of darkness if you want. Maybe they're a bit smaller as they get closer to the base. And there you go. Simple. Okay, another eucalyptus leaf we are gonna do is called the Silver Dollar. Um, it's a similar shape to these leaves. I'm just gonna add a bit more green for this one. And, but they are spread out a bit more. So again, I'm just gonna start off with a, a stem and you're just gonna go different ways for the stem. It doesn't have to be one curve. And these have little branches that kind of come off. You're gonna do those rounded leaf shapes with really thin stems coming from them. And actually the stems are brown too, so you can go over it with a brown later if you want, or you can start off with a brown and you're just gonna do kind of random that was a little bit too much water on that one I'm just gonna dry off my brush and try and soak up some of that water there we go drop in some color okay like this and then before it dries if you want to add some of that brown so I have some burnt umber here I'm just going to take a bit I'm going to go over that stem and I'm just going to touch the bottom of these leaves so it bleeds into it just a bit and now if it bleeds too much into it say the brown starts to take over the leaf and you don't like that just like I'll just show you with this one um, mop it up as long as it's still wet it should work it'll take up the color and then you can redo it again Okay, we all have those times where we make those mistakes and we might need to mop it up, I still do. So don't worry if that happens, it might just mean that you have too much water. If it runs and takes over the whole leaf, there's just too much water that you're using. So use a bit less, okay? And yeah, you're just kind of doing random little circular leaves. Add some darkness at the bottom of these two. brown and in order for it to bleed you got to make sure that um, it's still wet so if it's not bleeding into the bottom of these leaves that is probably because your painting is dry and there you go there is the silver dollar eucalyptus leaf and then the last one that we're going to do is called the gumdrop eucalyptus. Oh, I accidentally got my hand in there. Oh, well, I'm just going to add a bit more green to this one. A little bit of purple. Like that. Okay. There we go. And this one's a bit more full. So start off with your your nice thin stem like that and it's the same shape as these but it's going to be a bit more full so this one could be fun to layer so hold on i'm just going to do a couple more branches off to the side and you're just going to 
do those shapes again. Change it up with lighter, darker values. Like this. And you can take your brown and go through the stem again. And then you're gonna let this layer dry. Okay, so I'm gonna come back when it's dry and we will do a second layer of more leaves and overlap them. Okay, now that it's completely dry, we're gonna add some more leaves and more layers. So you can go darker, lighter, and just have fun with it. So just overlapping, just to make it nice and full. So when you do some um, lighter ones, they can be a bit more transparent. Kind of like that layered flowers tutorial I did. Just the layering technique. So layering is when you are doing wet on dry. So the first layer is dry and then the second layer is wet. You know, it just makes it look really nice and full. Okay, and you can do as much or as little as you want. I like to go back in. Oops, gotta remember which ones were dry and which ones were wet. <laughs> and add some darkness at the bottom, like that. You can add a bit that brown again in the stem. Again, if you add too much water, it will overtake some of it. So that's what that one's kind of doing. It's all good though. And there you go. There is your gumdrop eucalyptus. So there are four different types of eucalyptus you can add to your floral paintings, really nice for bouquets, or even just on their own. You can make little cards and just have greenery on the front and it's gorgeous so practice and enjoy thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for more have a great day guys bye